Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two replays in the Western Alliance Era 1 medium tank, the M48A5 Pi. It is actually Pi. I went on the Tankopedia, copy and pasted the PI into Google and it said, hey, it's PI. Not PL. It looks like PL, but that's just fonting. It's Pi. Anyway, the M48A5, we're just going to stick with the M48. It's in the M1A2 Abrams line up. And it's a fairly solid tank. To be perfectly honest with you, especially towards the end, I got very bored of playing this tank. And to be honest, I think it is a pretty boring tank. Doesn't mean it's bad. It's very, very solid. It's just not spectacular in many ways, right? Because it's its mobility is 45 kilometers an hour top speed, which is eh. Its armor is pretty good. If you use it correctly, like side scraping, stuff like that. It's DPM's a bit, eh. It's penetration's great. It's shell velocity's great on the standard APCR. You don't need any heat, which is why I only take five. And, yeah, it's, it is what it is. I did enjoy, I do enjoy this tank, as I say. I don't think it's necessarily, it's not a bad tank. It's, it's, it's a pretty solid and good tank. It's just not in, not like... Stand out ish, it doesn't stand out from the crowd, right? And that's what makes things exciting to play at times. It just does everything really solid, solidly, and you, you can get on with it, and it's pretty competitive. In terms of a crew on the M48A5 Pi, I do run Born Leader, Rapid Reload, Sixth Sense, Situational Awareness, Steady Aim, Snapshot, Run and Gun, Trap Mechanic. And rapid aim. Rapid aim because the torch reverse isn't the best. So I want to make the torch reverse as good as it possibly can be. Gun perks because again the gun is a little bit derpy. So I want to make it as good as it can be. And especially in Era 1. The, just having that gun be as good as it possibly can be for every tank is essential for you. And then in terms of equipment I run rammer, vert stabs and ammo swapper. So the gun rammer to make sure that the DPM is 10% better so it can be pretty decent. The vert stabs to make the gun 20% more accurate obviously you want to do that. And the ammo swapper because you do have some pretty dirty hep rounds. You have some HE rounds that have like 210 pen which is fantastic. And at era one where there's not a great pl proliferation of space armor you can pen these he rounds quite a lot and you can do a lot of damage with them so being able to use the ammo swapper and just switch to these he rounds with impunity and do like 500 and i think it's 515 damage well it's probably more like 480 to be perfectly honest with the rng and era one it's really great and i mean for the amount of centurion 2s and t44as and m46a1s that haven't got a clue what they're doing you can pen them with these he rounds really easily and like you saw with the t54 there we knew we could pen his upper plate or lower plate with the he rounds we slammed the he round in and it is a he round so when it pens it does quite a lot of damage and it does a lot of module damage and we set him on fire and we killed him and now we're against the M116. Again, just improve the DPM of the tank. We'll just load HE. We know we can pen this guy as long as we don't hit one random spot where it just doesn't pen. And we just keep slapping the shots in. We're now turning him sideways and it's like, well, just let me finish you off. Shot the spaced armor though, which means that, yeah, we, we, didn't, we didn't pen it. We switched back to the APCR because we don't need the HE to kill him and we shut that guy down. And yeah, you can see why I run the ammo swapper because switching, switching to those HE rounds, and those HE rounds are pretty deadly. It's a pretty useful thing for the tank. And yeah, just use those rounds to good effect. You'll do quite a lot of damage and you can have a lot of fun with them. Get a lot of good pens off with them as well. Like I say the the HE rounds having such good pen is utterly fantastic. And like I said, there's so many people that because era one is is pretty damn easy to play. There's a lot of people who haven't got a clue what they're doing. You can just abuse that with the HE and shoot people in really weak areas with the HE and do a lot of damage. And we finished that game with four kills, seven point two k damage. The Ace Tanker, seventeen hundred twenty one twenty four base XP. I should say. Nice game for the M48A5 Pi, which is the last of the Era 1 tanks you'll have to play before you end up going to Era 2 to play the M60. 
and yeah, like I said, the, the pie is it's a really solid tank. I just I just think it's a little bit boring to me personally because it like I say it doesn't have anything that's truly stand out. It doesn't do anything spectacularly. It just sort of tootles along and goes, "I'm a tank and I can damage things." And it's like, "You go, Mr. M48. You go, sir." You know. And then you wish it on its way. You wish it a good day and you play it a little bit and that's it. That's it. I mean, it's a solid tank. You'll have no problems with it. It's just, it's a little bit slow. DPM's okay. It's just, it's a steady eddy. That's what it is. It's a steady eddy. And steady eddies aren't all that exciting. They just do things right and well. But that little bit of excitement from the play doesn't often come around. Trying to find the best way of describing my feelings for this tank. It's quite hard because it is a good tank, but it's just, yeah, it doesn't excite me really to play it. So yeah, we're on the second game anyway. And um, we are on this map, which is Desful. Yeah, Desful. And we're going to the center of the map on Desful because the center of the map is a very, very powerful place because it is dead center of the map. If you win it, you can get good shots across especially with true vision and the way true vision is you can get shots across the pretty much the whole map you can get pure shots everywhere although you do have to be careful with the middle of the map because of true vision and all that sort of stuff in the fact that it is while it's such a powerful position to have and you can get shots everywhere and get good shots into like flanking tanks and stop advances by just keep shooting them in the side where they thought they might have been safe it's also quite deadly for you because if people stop focusing you in the middle they've got a lot of avenues to also shoot you so you just got to be very very careful when you are playing it so right now there's this type 773 which is the prototype leopard we get a nice shot into him and it's like you know what he's got two mediums looking at him i'm just gonna ignore him we're gonna start pumping shots towards these guys then we get really unlucky because while we were shooting the type T44A, sorry. The Type 773 <laughs> drove in the way. Um, we should have penned that in the back of the turret, but the shell ricocheted. Really awkward. But we do manage to shut him down. Probably should have switched to HE there to slap the shot into the back end. Actually, looking at this, and I don't have that many HE rounds, I probably didn't have, or at this point when I was playing the Pi, didn't realise the HE was so good and that running the ammo swapper was a good idea. Because I have a pretty normal setup with APCR Heat and HE. I definitely changed it after this and ran far more HE than Heat. And like I say, I had a lot more effect. So now we're getting shot in the side by Type 63i. And it's like, hello Mr. WZ, please start shooting the little light tank we've got here. Unfortunately enough, he starts shooting him. And this light tank has made big mistakes. And it really doesn't know what to do. Pop smoke, but that's not going to save you, buddy. We shot him down. Now we're going to go for the Centurion 2, who didn't really look like he knew what he was doing. Get a nice shot into the back of him for 321. Was kind of hoping to kill him, but RNG in, Cold, in Era 1 Cold War sucks. And we didn't get to finish him off. We're just looking for another tank that's somewhere along there. We know there's something somewhere around there. We're just trying to feather it out and see it. But as you can see, we're getting detected as we're poking. It's like, what? what is doing that? Well, it, it, T-44A drives out, so it's like, okay, you know what, we'll just ignore it. It possibly could have actually been the thing behind us, but there we go. There's a Type 63i, another light tank, and we pop a shot into it. Again, if we had the ammo swapper, we could have switched to HE and we could have quite easily penned this Type 63i. So, it's actually to our detriment not having the ammo swapper here with the HE, because it could definitely be doing a lot more damage. We get the shot in to shut down that Type 63i, and then we find this M46A1 that's just... AFK looks very very stock as well. So it, again, it's probably a new player. It, play, playing era one isn't really that satisfying to me. That's probably the reason the pie is is quite boring to me as well. Is the era one just isn't satisfying to play because there is a lot of new players in this era and they genuinely just you can tell when you're playing against them, right? I don't know if you guys, but you can tell when you're playing against the new players because they just haven't got a clue and they do such bad things that just easily lead to you being able to farm them and this <laughs> this nm116 
he actually has me here, by the way, because I had him with the awkward position that he found himself in. But then as soon as he's flipped back up, it's like, oh God, this guy could kill me. But then he rams me. And because he ran me, it meant it was on the enough hit points for me to kill. That was a really awkward moment against that NM because it was like, aha, I have you now. And then it, and then he flipped out with the the auto self right, and it was like, oh no, the, how the turns have tabled. <laughs> and he he probably could have killed me quite easily there, but fortunately enough, because he did ram me and he lost that extra hundred hit points, it meant that we could actually kill it. So now their enemy is, we're, we're capping their base, they're trying to cap ours. In Cold War, trying to cap is a bad idea. Because, especially if you know the enemy teams around the base, you, you're you just there. True vision. We can just, see, especially with the amount of really open cap circles, you can just see tanks that are trying to cap. And it's really easy to reset. Unfortunately enough, we reset a couple of times and our two guys cap out and win. And we finish with the victory. Five kills, 7.9k damage, 1300 assistance, the ace tanker. 692 base XP. A really nice game for the M48A5 Pi. A, a really solid tank to end the era one grind towards the M1A2. And then you get to the M60 where it's a bit of a painful grind, to be perfectly honest with you. But it was it's, it's a thoroughly enjoyable tank. I just found it a little bit boring to me. So that's it for everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.